Welcome to this easy RNAV tutorial for the Airbus A320 in MSFS. We're using the Phoenix A320 for this tutorial, but procedures should be the same in the Flybywire 320 This tutorial assumes a basic knowledge of Airbus systems. If you're unfamiliar with the aircraft, please check out my full flight tutorial for either the Phoenix A320 or the Flybywire. If you're wondering what an RNAV approach is, it's very similar to an ILS approach, where horizontal and vertical guidance for landing are displayed down to minimums. However, in an RNAV approach, this information is calculated by the aircraft's onboard computers, whereas guidance for an ILS approach is provided by equipment located at the airport. With those important notes covered, it's time to begin our flight. In the initialization page, we've selected our departure and arrival airports. We're flying from Southampton to Jersey, with a cost index of 100 and a cruising altitude of 16,000 feet. We've filled in the aircraft weight in the initialization page. In the Phoenix, this information is found on the EFB and in the fly-by-wire it's calculated for you. We've also filled in our takeoff performance page with V-speeds, transition altitudes and flap and flex settings. In the Phoenix, this information is found on the EFB and the fly-by-wire automatically calculates V-speeds for you. It's now time to plan our routes. In the fly-by-wire you can do this in the MSFS world map and it will automatically feed through to the FMC. A tutorial for flight planning in the world map is linked in the description below. But in the Phoenix we'll need to program a flight in the FMC. So in the flight plan page we'll select our departure from Southampton. We're on runway 20. We'll select no SID and hit insert. We'll now head over to our arrival airport and we'll select our desired arrival. We're going to select the RNAV approach for runway 08 and we'll also select a star for this runway in the next menu. I'm going to make some adjustments to the flight plan for this airport specifically, just so we get a nice simple left turn onto final. If you're flying into Jersey, you can follow along with what I'm doing here, which is removing the Shark and JW waypoints, but if you're flying into another airport, it's entirely possible that the star will lead you directly to your RNAV final approach. Even if you are flying the Phoenix A320, I'd still recommend checking out your flight in the world map beforehand, just so you can get an idea of what your approach looks like and if there's any adjustments you'll need to make. Once our flight plan is completely configured, we'll run through it on the ND in plan mode. I recommend you also do this, just so you can see your approach visually, get an idea of what to expect during the flight, and clear up any issues in the FMC before you start your flight. Our flight plan looks good all the way to final, so let's go. With the aircraft in takeoff config and our cruise altitude set on the MCP, we'll set throttles to flex and begin our takeoff roll. After we rotate, we'll perform our normal climb procedure up to our cruising altitude. Details of the standard A320 climb procedure are covered in my full flight tutorials for both the Phoenix and the Flybywire. After we reach our top of climb, we'll fill in our approach ref page. In both the Phoenix and Fly-by-Wire, this information is found in the EFB. We'll also find the altitude we need to be at at the final approach fix in our FMC flight plan. At Jersey, this is 2,000 feet with a 3 degree glide slope to the runway. We'll dial in 2,000 feet into the MCP. As usual, at top of descent, we place the aircraft into its managed descent. As always, when we reach our deceleration point, the aircraft will begin to slow to approach speed. At this point, of course, we increment our flaps until we're at approach config. Notice the horizontal deviation and vertical deviation markers that have appeared on the PFD, which are unique to an RNAV approach. As we get close to our final approach fix, we'll put the plane into approach mode, just as we would for an ILS approach. Similar to an ILS approach, the aircraft will now follow its vertical and horizontal guidance to the airport. You'll also see the landing checklist to make sure your aircraft is in landing config. It's not possible to auto land on an RNAV approach, so as we reach about 400 feet, we'll disengage the autopilot and fly the approach manually. From here on out, it's just a regular landing, idle the throttles when you're above the threshold, Apply reverses upon touchdown and auto brake will bring you to a stop. With no rollout mode, of course, you'll need to steer the plane using the rudder to keep it straight on the runway while you slow down. And this concludes our successful RNAV arrival in the Airbus A320. RNAV approaches are not the complex, scary thing that some make them out to be. Flight planning and the approach itself are very similar 
to your normal ILS approach. I hope this video gives you the confidence to try them for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found it useful. If you did, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe as I make this kind of content fairly regularly. Take care and I'll see you next time.